these women, fashion and music go hand in hand. The clothes they wear, just like the music they sing, are fundamental elements of their artistry. Both women live and work in Brazzaville, in the Republic of Congo. They're each famous as solo artists, but today Mariuska Las Lamas and Spirit Ananda have come together to produce a song aimed at raising awareness of violence against children within blended families. It's been a wonderful collaboration with Spirita. We came up with a song called Mwanda Mbanda. The title means the child of my rival. We realized that most children who grow up in blended families often don't get any love from either their stepmother or stepfather. And for us, it was really important to talk about that phenomenon. When she approached me for this project, I was immediately keen, because it's something that I've experienced myself, and I thought it was important to talk about the issue. I hope our message gets through, and if you've experienced this sort of thing yourself, or if you've seen other people in that type of situation, you need to tell someone. We can't change the world, fine, but we can certainly try to influence things, to improve them. Spirit Ananda is a musician, but she also designs fashion accessories. Everything from glasses to trainers. Fashion is a means of communication. Through fashion you can show your artistic savoir-faire. And that's especially true for us as women. And it's also a means of earning money, that is, to become financially independent, so that we feel less pressure to engage with certain unhealthy practices within the world of showbiz. It's a way of being less exploited, I think. So what exactly does fashion mean for you? Well, I'm a Congolese woman, and that means that fashion is in our blood. Here we have the idea of la sap, a conception of flamboyance and elegance that's about celebrating fashion and really having an understanding of the value of life. So we dress not only for pleasure, but also as a way of saying that life's problems aren't going to get the better of us. And that's about injecting life with color, beauty. It's about feeling good in your own skin, feeling like you're well-dressed. That's why I'm always so excited to do collaborations with other designers. It's always such a pleasure to see someone who's well-dressed, someone who looks well put together. And take us through your look today. I'm wearing Le Puta Swaga, a Congolese label that's into Afrofuturism. It's a bit out there, like a lot of this designer stuff, and I like that. So I thought, yep, it's the right outfit for the occasion. Liputa Swagger, the brainchild of another Congolese star. Musician come designer Queen Tower. When it comes to defending causes she believes in, Mariuska Las Lamers not only talks the talk, but also walks the walk. In her song Slam la rue Montois, Slam the street my roof in English, she decries the fate of homeless children during COVID-19 lockdowns. During the pandemic, the kids living in the street really suffered. Children living on the street simply had nowhere to go when the world went into lockdown. So I put myself in shoes of a street kid. I even slept on the ground. At one point while we were filming, a man started chasing me with a huge bit of wood because he thought that I was a genuine street kid. And I asked the filmmakers to keep that moment in their film because it was a moment that really shocked me. Just how much society can turn a blind eye to the fact that kids are living on the street. They didn't ask to be born, but they're living outside. They have to beg for food, but there's no one there. How are these kids meant to survive? For me, if we don't look after children today, it doesn't bode well for society society in the future. Children are the future of any society. If we don't care for them now, it's guaranteed that we'll have huge problems later on. Along with 18 other Congolese artists, Mariuska Las Lamers does regular outreach work with Tosola, an anti-violence campaign set up with the French Institute of the Congo, and that often takes the form of SLAM workshops. These kids are often traumatized by experiences they've had at the hands of dangerous people. Often these children who have no adult guidance end up becoming thieves. 
And what we do in our SLAM Unity project is try to come up with new ways of thinking about and healing that trauma. It's essentially SLAM therapy. For me, SLAM can be extremely therapeutic. It's all about trying to give these kids a way of both working towards healing themselves and imagining the sort of person they can become. It's so important for me that my art serves a purpose. It really isn't just about becoming famous. It's so important that I put my art to good use, to help people. Harnessing the power of music while trying to make the world a better place. There's no feat too great for la slameuse. En slam, je pourrais dire de mes racines pharaoniques telle une queen Nefertiti. Je viens ouvrir les portes des pyramides pour rendre à César ce qu'ils ont donné à César, arracher à Pythagore ce qui revient à Saint-Gor, car ce que leur histoire ne dit pas, c'est que la connaissance est née en Afrique, sanctuaire de leurs théorèmes sur nos hiéroglyphes. Alors, même dans l'ombre, soyez la lumière du monde. Merci. <laughs>